What's up guys? In the works, and we're going to be talking about sniping and Battlefield 4 sniping in general. And ooh, what a way to start off the video by a jump collateral, and I, I must admit, I got pretty lucky that the guy was behind him, but, you know, I meant to do that, I meant to do that. But yeah, we're going to be talking about sniping in Battlefield 4, because it's actually a pretty interesting topic that I see brought up quite often. Especially in like the forums, you know, a lot of the community forums, a lot of the big community sites, people are wondering, you know, okay, where's DICE going with sniping? Are we going to get, you know, the Battlefield 3 version of sniping? We're going to get the Bad Convey 2 version of sniping? Heck, are we going to get the Battlefield 2 version of snipers? And, you know, it seems like snipers are probably one of the hardest things to get right. You know, the recon class, the sniper rifle itself, uh, it's difficult to tune because, you know, it would be pretty annoying in this game if all the sniper rifles were a one-hit kill from the chest up. I mean, let's face it, that would be pretty imbalanced. You know, as someone who plays a lot of, uh, I guess, recon, or at least I did when the game first came out, uh, I can say that, you know, that would be a little bit overpowered, and I'm always on the side of recon. I actually think it's one of the most interesting classes. A well-placed spawn beacon in your squad can turn the tide of battle. I mean, having a good recon player in your squad is always so useful. I love it when I've got someone who actually knows how to play the recon class. Because my personal playstyle when playing the sniper rifle or any recon role is getting up on the front lines, being the one marking targets, being the kind of the first entry point, trying to push up, trying to get towards MCOMs, trying to get towards flags. Uh, it's really effective. I mean, putting the spawn beacons down in strategic locations can be very effective in really just winning games for your team. So I, I think the recon class does get a lot of flack and it's well deserved because a lot of players like to sit in the back and try to get the marksman bonuses and stuff like that. Uh, but I think Battlefield 3 was nothing compared to the, the sniper epidemic of Bad Company 2. So let's take a look at some Bad Company 2 footage. And you know, I don't really think this class was as useful in my eyes as it was in Battlefield 3. Okay. Now hear me out on this. Yes, sniper rifles were way more deadly in Bad Company 2. It was much easier to get one-shot kills from pretty much any distance. I mean, up close you could drop people instantaneously. And you know, getting in there and playing aggressive with the recon is so much fun. I love doing that. However, I can see why people got really frustrated with this game. And this is some super old footage. I had to dig deep into the, uh, the archives to find this stuff, but... Uh, it's it's different. I mean, the sniping in this game was completely different. It, it kind of played towards playing really stationary in my eyes. And, you know, you see servers where it's like, okay, well, you can only have five recon per side or they limit the amount of recon players. And that was, you know, that was basically to make this game so that it wasn't completely boring because sometimes I would get in the Bad Company 2 servers where it was just nothing but sniper battles. And I think DICE was trying to address that. I mean, one of the biggest complaints you would hear anyone say about Bad Company 2 is that everybody plays the bush wookie. Everybody's sitting in the back. Everybody's just standing there not moving. And it got really frustrating. And considering how good the sniper rifles were, you know, you can see why people got frustrated with the snipers. I mean, like I said earlier, the server limitations on how many people could play this role were, you know, that was a sign of, hey, okay, maybe we have a problem here. I think Bag Battlefield 3 was really DICE's attempt to kind of bat balance the sniper rifle a little bit more because I think a lot of people kind of saw that, hey, okay, maybe it's not so balanced in Bad Company 2. Maybe we need to make it so that it's headshots only, which, you know, I don't really think that's a huge deal. I think that when the game was first out, it was so much more difficult to play aggressive with the sniper rifle because you didn't get the chest bonus that you do now. I mean, you can get one shots to the chest with all the bolt actions within a certain range now, and that makes the snipers a much more efficient tool, especially especially if you want to get in there and play a little bit more aggressive. And uh, that's the playstyle I like to play. Now, is it practical? Is it the best playstyle in the world? No, but this is also a video game, so we like to have fun with it. But that leads us to me to my big point here is, what should we expect from DICE in terms of sniping in Battlefield 4? Now, I'm really kind of nervous about Battlefield 4. I have a feeling that they're going to have a, a lot of blends of maps. I think we're going to get a lot of maps that are a little bit smaller than we may be accustomed to. Because uh, if you look at the DLCs, with the exception of Armor Kill, I mean, obviously Close Quarters is really small. Um, you know, Aftermath wasn't really a true Battlefield map in my eyes. I think it was a good, they were good maps, don't get me wrong, but they just didn't really have a whole lot of scale to them. I mean, if you think about when you play Rush on Aftermath, you basically go in a square. I mean, it's very similar to, like, Grand Bazaar. And if you look at the map design from just the vanilla maps... And then compare that to like Battlefield 2, you know, 2142, you can definitely see that DICE is moving towards more compact maps that play bigger, but technically are small when you really think about a true Battlefield map. I mean, even Bad Company 2, the maps were very, very linear. And that was one of my problems with the game, and I think that's why it played towards Sniper so heavily, is because, you know, long lines of sight, 
usually the one-hit kill sniper rifles are going to be the most effective in those situations. So, uh, you know, I think DICE did a pretty decent job balancing the snipers. Could they have maybe made it so that one-hit kills the chest within 40 meters, you know, something like that, you know, pretty much double what they have now? Would that make it probably a little bit better? Yes, because I think getting hit by an M98B within 40 meters in the chest should be a one-shot kill. But the logic is there. I understand why DICE did it. But this leads us to the, the kind of climax of this entire discussion. What should we really expect from DICE in terms of sniper rifles in Battlefield 4? Well, I'm expecting smaller maps. I, I'm just going to, you know, I've already said that. I expect the maps to be more like the Aftermath maps, more like maybe Grand Bazaar, you know, Domavon Peak, stuff like that. I mean, Domavon Peak is a very linear map, and I think that's what we should really kind of expect dice to kind of give us so I'm expecting sniper rifles to be pretty much what we have right now I don't think that sniper rifles are going to be buffed in any sort of uh, any sort of way I think sniper rifles are going to pretty much be the status quo they are now and um, you know love it or hate it the recon kit is a very polarizing uh, polarizing style you know if you hate snipers you're going to hate the recon kit and you're going to not want the snipers to be good if you're a sniper if you love the recon kit you're going to want snipers to get some sort of buff. So I, I want to know what you guys think, though. What are you really expecting from Battlefield 4 in terms of sniper rifles? Because I think this is a really interesting topic, and and it's something I'd really like to get your opinion on. Because sniping is, you know, like I said, it's controversial. You know, there's going to be people who hate this video. There's going to be people who love this video. And, you know, I really don't know if I have a true opinion on it. Like, I tend to just go with the changes. I mean, if they nerf sniper rifles back to the way they were when the game first came out... Yeah, you know, I'll just adapt because I played a lot of recon when the only one shot kills you could get were to the head. And, you know, I adapted. So that's what I expect to do with uh, with the new changes, whatever they, they propose. But, uh, you know, I think sniping in general should get some sort of like, you know, meter meter buff. Something within 40 meters should always be a one shot kill to the chest with the bolt actions. Uh, you know, that's just my opinion, though. So let me know what you guys think. If you missed any of my other videos, two awesome videos right here in front of you. Check them out. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.